What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome to a pretty special one because I'm going to be ranking every single country on GeoGuessr in terms of how difficult they are. Now it's important to understand my criteria for how I'm going to rank them. Obviously being a no moving player, I'm only going to be considering no moving and no moving panning or zooming. And I'm also going to be considering things from a pro player's perspective. This doesn't mean it's not irrelevant to you if you're not such a strong player, but it's definitely more so when you get to the top level, which countries are difficult and which are not. And then crucially, we're going to be talking about two aspects. How hard is it to get the country itself? So are you going to confuse it with other countries? Are there any 50-50s or 33-33-33s with other countries nearby? And also the other factor, how hard is it to region guess? Because some countries like Andorra, for example, they're quite, you know, they can be difficult to get sometimes, but region guessing really doesn't matter because you're always going to be able to get close because it's such a tiny country. So why don't we start off with Albania here? We'll go alphabetical order. And then we've also got a few new countries which weren't included when this tier list were made, was made, such as Panama and Rwanda and stuff. But yeah, let's jump straight into things here with Albania. Also, actually, we have to mention that I actually did this video about a year and a half ago. So we're gonna have to go back and check out how my ratings have changed since I made that one, which will obviously be quite fun because no doubt the rankings will be different. But Albania is the first country off the rank here. And uh, we've got the five categories here to put it in. Let's get straight into uh, on no moving and no moving panning or zooming. How difficult is it for getting the country? So getting the country with the Albania, I would not say is too difficult. Really, the only country you normally confuse it for, especially on no moving, would be Montenegro uh, because they got the rifts in the sky and fairly similar landscapes. Uh, but all in all, it's more so on the easy or medium end of things for getting the country. Um, obviously, Europe is always a little more difficult than some other countries countries. But then also region guessing, actually Albania is relatively sizable and it's kind of a north-south country. So if you click the north and it's actually south, it can be quite difficult to get a good score and also to get the right region. So I think it's actually, um, maybe I would have put it easier last time, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's actually kind of a medium country. I think that's actually kind of fair to say. It teeters on easy though, so it's probably going to be like a low medium. Uh, Andorra. Andorra is definitely one we have to put more so on the easy side of things. The mountains, so the landscape's always the same. For no moving and no moving panning or zooming, it's normally pretty gettable. The, ar the architecture's super distinctive and it's also got a lot of like autumn coverage, which is pretty also useful to get. Um, I wouldn't say it's too easy, but it's definitely in that easy category for sure and probably on the easier side of the easy category. So Argentina. Argentina is quite a fun country on GeoGuessr. It's very diverse in terms of landscapes, which obviously in terms of region guessing makes it a more difficult country. Um, I would say that uh, it is normally pretty easy to get that you're in Argentina because the road markings, the kind of traffic conventions there, all the infrastructure are pretty unique to Argentina. So it's definitely not in the hardest category, I would say. Um, but obviously region guessing, it is one of the tougher countries for me. Um, and despite limited coverage, a lot of people do send the wrong side of Argentina. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of getting the country, it's definitely probably in the easy category or medium, um, especially on no moving. But uh, in terms of region guessing, it's definitely in one of the top two categories. So I think this is actually in a, in a country that would probably count as somewhat difficult uh, for counting both aspects, which we are. So yeah, I think that's actually kind of fair. And obviously I'm going to be like objectively doing it to some extent, but obviously also personal bias does play in here. And Argentina is definitely a country that I find difficult more so than other people because of my particular skill set. Ah, speaking of skill set, we have Australia, which I was formally known as being very good on. And I guess I still am known that way, though. I think my uh, reputation somewhat precedes me on this country these days. Now, Australia. I think Australia is very easy to get the country, super easy because eucalyptus trees are everywhere, obviously all the infrastructure stuff, tons of unique metas to get the region and also uh, to get the country. Um, having said that, Australia has a Low, a boatload of brand new generation 4 coverage which is a lot of people have not learned it yet and so that me myself included so it actually can be quite difficult to region guess out in the outback so i'm gonna still err on the side of my own personal experience um, more so than uh, being purely objective here and i would say it actually is a medium country because getting the country is definitely easy category um, but region guessing it is somewhat difficult. So I would actually say that this is in the medium category. It is actually harder than Albania as well, of course. So I think that's a fair enough place to put it. Okay, Austria. So if we're talking NMPZ, Austria is up there with those hard countries where 
a lot of the time it's not quite possible to get the country correct. However, landscape wise, if you're in the mountains, it's pretty easy. Um, and if you have bollards on the side of the road, obviously much easier as well, because you're only gonna confuse that with Slovenia. Now, I think when the last video came out, Slovenian Gen 4 may not have even come out yet, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, now that Slovenia exists as a 50-50, this country is definitely in the somewhat difficult category. I wouldn't say it's straight up hard because it's not one of those countries where like it, it, it fully looks like other countries a lot, but this is a difficult country for sure. I would say actually in terms of everything, it's harder than Argentina. Now region guessing in Argentina is harder. However, getting the country is much harder for Austria. So it kind of depends how you want to look at things. I'm going to weight them evenly as I can in my head. Uh, but yeah, I definitely consider um, it a harder country. Bangladesh is a country, again, since the, I think, video that I made that's got Generation 4, which is actually going to be a common theme in this video. And it's much harder than it used to be, guys, because you used to be able to just slam it in as soon as you saw the roof rack car uh, pretty much always existed in Bangladesh. These days, however, they've got the black and white Generation 4 car, which are common in all across Southeast Asia and Latin America. And to be honest, it is just a, a fairly, it's, it's a fairly diverse landscape country where you can see certain places that look like other countries. However, on the pro level, I would say that it's not the hardest country. Reason being that, uh, you know, the kind of like, um, what would you say, like the kind of polluted air is often very visible and then the rice fields everywhere. So. Look, I can definitely see for intermediate plays, this could be in the medium or difficult, but I think it is easy. It is definitely harder than Andorra, in my opinion, um, but also region guessing is not too much of a concern. It's quite a square country, so just clicking in Dakar is pretty legitimate. Um, and you're only going to really guess the wrong country, no moving, panning or zooming, especially because the script is everywhere for no moving as well. So that's a pretty reasonable place to put it, in my opinion. Okay, Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. So Belgium produces a whole lot of bait rounds, which are really great for NM. NMPZ. So if we were going purely on NMPZ, I think this would be in the hard category. Um, however, and actually it still could go in the hard category. However, as soon as you have architecture or as soon as you're not just in a forest, it definitely is quite um, achievable. The number plates are red, which obviously really helps instead of the standard black lettering. And, uh, you know, just all in all, like the brick architecture really does help to get the country. So I think it's definitely in the somewhat difficult category. Obviously region guessing on such a small country is not really a concern. You have the hilly south and the kind of flat north. So I think that really kind of bumps it, actually might bump it down below Argentina in my opinion, but it's definitely somewhat difficult just by nature of being a fairly uh, a European country that's surrounded by others that look fairly similar. So I think that's fair. Bhutan. So Bhutan's stuck in Gen 3 and that immediately makes it easier. Um, and obviously the landscape is fairly well known by now, even though it is kind of difficult when you start out. Um, I think that kind of boil what is what it kind of boils down to here because People now really do recognize Bhutan, even though it is a difficult country to begin with. Once you kind of get a vibe for it, you can normally get it. The thing is, you can also get some crazy bait rounds on Bhutan where if you just don't think of it, you're never going to go there. So um, I definitely think for NMPZ, it has like its place in the middle. But when you include no moving, it's definitely on the easy end of things here. I think it probably goes a little harder than Bangladesh all in all, but it is definitely in the easy section in my opinion. Okay, believe Bolivia. Bolivia, another country, one of the only countries in South America stuck in Gen 3, which I hope will change soon. And also a country with relatively limited coverage, only about half the country actually has coverage. So yeah, that definitely factors into things here. It also always has the white Google car, which helps out as well. So definitely those factors come into play here heavily. Um, region guessing is also quite easy because you got the green part in the east and then in the west, the more dryness. Soil color also already really helps as well. So in my opinion, um, it definitely lives in the easy section as well. Um, however, 50-50s with Peru still do exist. And I think what really hurts it from being a higher country on the tier list is the fact that the coverage is quite limited. And so people at the pro level just kind of know what Bolivia looks like most of the time. However, all in all, it is on the harder end of easy. Um, it's definitely harder than these other countries, especially when you consider how big it is. You do like miss some points on region guessing sometimes. Okay, next one here, we have Botswana. 
Um, actually very similar story to Bolivia. Yes, you have different regions that are quite unique in terms of their landscape, but also it is kind of just a matter of learning the coverage where, you know, there's only limited coverage being a small country that doesn't have too many roads and also stuck in generation three camera as well. However, um, Botswana without doing much learning and a lot of pros still probably haven't learned as much as they should, um, would probably bump it up to the medium section, in my opinion. It is a big country and you can't just click the middle because there's no coverage in the middle. So I, and also occasionally you're going to miss the country. We, we've, we've kind of neglected talking about that too much, but yeah, South Africa, you can confuse with it. Eswatini, if you're unlucky, you can confuse with it. I've definitely done that not too long ago. So in my opinion, it's easier than Australia for sure. It's probably easier than Albania as well, uh, because there are less baits for other countries, but I think it's in the medium category. And obviously, I guess I am going to kind of tend towards putting more bigger countries towards the harder end, because obviously you lose more if you're not close. And so you have to know more, um, which I do think is a legitimate like point. Like if you, even if you're super cracked at the US, a lot of the times you're going to go the wrong side or at least thousand kilometers away or something. Okay. Brazil, Brazil is a hard country to region guess a very easy country to get. So it's kind of a mixed identity country. Obviously the red soil and the black backs of the signs and the number plates and the poles. So they all make it like on the, like almost like in the easy section for sure in terms of that. However, region guessing and some NMPZ bait rounds can make it a difficult country. And um, yeah, region guessing is notoriously difficult. So kind of balancing it out. And obviously, yeah, as you guys have seen, that's kind of what this video is about. It is actually in the more difficult section because I don't think a lot of people have figured out the landscapes as well as they easily could. So um, I would say it is harder than Australia. And I would say it's in the somewhat difficult category here, despite the fact that it's very easy to get as a country. I'm gonna put it like below Belgium here. I think that's a like bottom of somewhat difficult seems reasonable to me. Okay, next one here is Bulgaria. Now we're entering a country which is, you know, typically seen as quite difficult to get the country, especially as a newer player. And then even as a pro on NMPZ can be confused with other countries nearby. Um, one thing that I think makes it easier is that in Generation 3, you have the winter coverage. In Generation 4, you have the red car coverage quite a lot of the time. And all in all, I would say it is one of those countries where people have started to figure it out more so recently, especially with uh, the kind of grainy, kind of black stained um, tarmac that they have over there, which I really do think actually makes the country quite a bit easier, as well as the thickness of the road lines being thinner than Romania, which used to be the really tough 50-50, which has pretty much been solved by that, honestly. So I actually don't think it's quite as difficult as it used to be. And I think actually medium may be the better play here. Although region guessing is difficult, it's not a big country, so you can click middle and be fairly safe in terms of score. So I'm actually gonna say it's uh, it's actually easier than Australia, I'd say these days. Um, although the country is harder to get, region guessing being much more easy is actually a big factor here. Drinking from the GeoGuessr bottle, shouts to the devs. Um, but okay, let's get back into things here. I've realized we're only up to C, so I'm gonna actually pick up the pace a little here. So let's go for Cambodia. Cambodia, I think, also kind of being stuck, well, it doesn't have any generation four yet, which means you don't confuse it with gen four countries. That definitely alleviates a lot of the difficulty. However, with the new crap cam, it is actually confusable with India, which does add a level of complexity to the country. Region guessing has always been difficult in Cambodia. However, it's offset by the fact that it's a small and fairly square country. So you can just kind of plonk middle um, as you see many pros do still to this day. Um, I would say that, uh, yeah, it does have bait countries, but it's, it's definitely on the lower easy, the lower end of medium, I think here. Yeah. Maybe something similar to Albania where it's kind of just like, yeah, sometimes you miss it. Most times you're not going to get the most difficult rounds there. And there are plenty of clues to get the country. And these days, because Thailand is so heavily Gen 4-ified, then it's not so difficult. Uh, Canada. Canada is an interesting one because out in the prairies, it can be so difficult to region guess. And the USA 5050s do exist quite often. At the same time, like, like the urban stuff is very easy because you normally have structural and infrastructure clues that really help. And then a whole bunch of language clues as well, stuff like this. I actually think it has to go on the somewhat difficult um, category here because you do mess up that US Canada 50-50 every now and again, as, even as a pro player. And at the same time, like guessing across two prairies, two prairie provinces can 
really reduce your score to like sub 3000, which obviously is definitely below par for a pro player. So I definitely think this is actually fitting into the somewhat difficult, maybe the top of the somewhat difficult category here. I think, you know, it's, it's almost at that European level um, of difficulty, especially on an MPZ, or especially what I mean is on a rural round. Now, rural rounds are always going to be more difficult, but in Europe, um, urban rounds can also have a level of difficulty that Canadian rounds probably just wouldn't. Um, but yeah, the US 5050 plus region guessing on rural makes this a somewhat difficult country. Chile is very recognizable because of the all white road lines that they use, and uh, Honestly, the extent of Gen 4 is not quite enough where you get these crazy bait rounds often. They do exist, but they're not too common in my opinion. Also, it's quite region guessable because of the desert in the north and the dryness in the middle, and then the kind of green and, you know, alpine uh, whole thing going on in the south. So, all in all, I think Chile is definitely easier than Australia, for example, because the region guessing woes don't exist. So even if getting the country may be slightly more difficult, um, region guessing is definitely easier. Um, however, it's, it's not a country that people have completely figured out yet. I think it kind of belongs in the middle of medium. Colombia. I mean, if you ask RC, it's an easy country. That guy's actually crazy at Colombia. But for most people, Colombia is difficult to region guess. 50-50s exist. And especially with Gen 4 coming out, it's uh, definitely a meta heavy country, which is meaning that it's gonna be much easier on Gen 4, uh, on no moving than NMPZ. Look, we know how I love to go Philippines on Cambo, uh, on Colombia, uh, on like the skewed maps and stuff like that. So this has to be considered one of the toughest countries um, in South America. However, at the same time, um, it's not quite European country difficulty because you have the yellow plates, you have a lot of like the, the crosses on the back of the signs, for example, they're going to save you on a lot of rounds on no moving, which would be difficult um, if those clues didn't exist. So all in all, I think it's another, maybe like a high medium country where region guessing is going to cause you much more of a problem than getting the country. Um, but there is kind of a lack of reliable metas within the center of the country. So, um, often I am losing quite a lot of points and that's what makes it have to be a medium country in my opinion. Okay, now we have a contender for hardest country in the whole video. This one's going straight to hard, it's Croatia. So Croatia, um, is not only, so Croatia firstly, region guessing is not too bad. You know, you got the dryness in the south, you've got fairly green in the north. That aside, Croatia is one of the hardest countries to get correct on a country streak in GeoGuessr. So let's run through why. One, they now have blue strips on their plates, which was one of the good ways you could use to get Croatia back in the day, um, as opposed to its neighbors, which all had blue strips. Now they have blue strips and they're definitely very common in generation four. Not to mention that since I made the last video, they got generation four. And that obviously makes it more difficult because you can confuse it with Western Europe, especially no moving, panning, or zooming. Now, on the border with Slovenia, you get these crazy rounds that feel exactly like Western Europe where you're in a forest and you're thinking of Sweden or you're thinking of Poland. You don't even think for a moment that Croatia is an option and then ends up being all the way south in the Balkans. So this is really what makes Croatia such a crazy country to me. I do think it's one of the funnest countries um, to get re g recent Gen 4, and it is also just, like, a really difficult one, and, um, I, I think, despite the region guessing, it may actually be the hardest one in this tier list, but we'll have to see what I think when we get to further countries. Okay, Curacao is probably on the too easy side of things, uh, first one there, because region guessing is not a problem, it's so tiny, because the landscape is completely unique, the buildings are almost unique, and of course we have the Google car as well. The only time you're ever sending this wrong is on NMPZ, and even then it's extremely difficult to make something where someone's going to go the wrong country. All in all, we have to say that Curacao is on too easy. Okay, next country is Czechia. Which, obviously, as we understand, Czechia has that problem where it looks a lot like Slovakia. They used to be one country. And even though landscape-wise they are quite distinctive, most times they still exist as 50-50 rounds. And then you get to forest rounds where there's no infrastructure. And it can be 10 different countries. It can be 15. It can be 20 different countries. Famously, like, that winter Gen 3 often looks like the USA, which just creates some crazy guesses sometimes. Uh, it can look like rural Tennessee. Um, but, uh, you know, 
it has to go in the hard category. It's not as hard as Croatia to me, but we're getting to that kind of Eastern European 50-50 kind of country uh, territory that deserves to be in the hard category. So we had some exciting ones here filling out the top and the bottom end. Now we're moving to Denmark, which I think it has to be said since Germany got generation four, Denmark has gotten more difficult. Reason being that Germany and Denmark often share quite similar landscapes, they're bordering countries, and without architecture, or even with architecture, the difficulty is still there. Um, what else could we say, though? Um, Denmark, I mean, region guessing is difficult as well. Denmark, though, I do think, like, once, as soon as you're in an urban area, it should be okay, because you've got the signs that kind of are along the ground, or... You know, you got those sign posts that have the metal bits around them. So I do think that all in all, it's it's definitely on the somewhat difficult end rather than hard, but it is maybe the top of the somewhat difficult because I can definitely see this one being a hard contender for sure. Okay, Ecuador. Ecuador, you know, it is stuck in generation three. It's another one of those countries. Um, Ecuador, what could you really say? Like, it's definitely a country that kind of trips up people region guessing more so when they start out to compared to when they kind of are, are more experienced. I would say Ecuador, it's not a terrifically difficult country to region guess, nor to guess in the first place. Then again, um, it can trip you up on, in certain circumstances. I think this is a textbook medium country, but definitely more so on the easier side of medium. Compared to Colombia, which has more so like the yellow number plates and the cross background clues, Ecuador more so just has the fact that it's kind of stuck in Generation 3, more limited coverage in a smaller country. So that's what kind of makes it easier. Um, but there are more options, obviously, with Colombia's Gen 4 that are going to trip you up. Okay. Estonia is definitely on the harder end of things. Um, when you don't have the uh, green blur in Generation 3, it's even harder. Um, and of course, with Generation 4 coming out, this has also made it just like even more difficult, um, probably since we last talked about it. Now, where do we want to put uh, Estonia? It definitely could belong in the hard category, especially with the other Baltics. But I feel like with the dashed outer lines, that actually kind of makes the country easier. And also the bollards are unique and, you know, you often get to see those in, in, in rounds. So I feel like Estonia is probably in that somewhat difficult category where uh, also because it's a small country, region guessing is not too much of an issue. You can just click middle. So I'm thinking of putting it, yeah, it's just below Denmark here. I think it's definitely at the top of somewhat difficult in terms of that. France. France is definitely a country that's very region guessable based on architecture. I think if I had to say any country in the world where ar architecture is important, it's probably France over any other. And I would say that France is um, a country that is more so confused with other countries on no moving, panning or zooming. On no moving, you've got French number plates, you've got the bollards, you've got the architecture, the poles. All these things are pretty unique to France most times. And it's really those kind of like more dry baits where you go Mediterranean countries or those kind of more northern ones where you can go UK on NMPZ. Um, and they have to be very particular baits, but they definitely do exist. And region guessing can still be an issue, although I feel like France is more so just a medium country, especially by European standards. It is not too difficult, um, and I'm going to put it in the middle for that reason. Germany, obviously, being a new country, only Generation 4, which makes things super interesting. They deleted the Gen 2, unfortunately, um, and it is actually on the harder side of things. This is the first time I've talked about copyright, but 2023 copyright is obviously helping a lot to guess Germany at the start of things here, um, especially because they've not covered in a lot of the area, like, especially because, what I mean, sorry, uh, you know, there, there, there are lots of rounds where you, like, confusing it for another country, you just check copyright, and then your curiosity is completely alleviated because you know that the other country does not have 2023 copyright. Okay, I do think it could be in the somewhat difficult region, just because of the proximity to how soon it came out, where people don't really know how to guess the regions that well yet. Um, and also the 50-50s do exist. I would say it's easier than Belgium actually, because Belgium baits exist um, in a higher proportion to German ones, whereas German region guessing is probably more difficult. So that's why I think somewhat difficult, it probably teeters on being a medium country. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna bump it down because I don't quite rate it the same way as some of these other ones where they really are known for being difficult in one way or the other. 
Um, we have a, uh, we have, I was gonna say, we have Bolivia too. No, we have Ghana. Um, Ghana definitely has to go in the easy or too easy, right? We've got the car metal with the black tape. Means on no moving, you never miss the country. We have fairly region guessable landscape because the north is dry, at the south is green and has palms. Um, we even have like topography with the mountains. Um, what else could we say about Ghana though? Ghana, I don't think it's causing too many people too many problems. And as I said, region guessing is not too bad. I think we're gonna see Ghana enter the, like, I think as pros get better, Ghana is gonna be completely figured out uh, in a way it's not right now. But at the same time, I think Ghana isn't as easy as Curacao, but it is in the too easy category, in my opinion. It just rarely produces particularly interesting rounds. So Greece recently got more Gen 4, which is quite exciting. Um, and I think Greece, obviously unique writing helps out Greek uh, recognizing. Um, and it's only really when you're up in the mountains that you send the wrong country with Greece, in my opinion. Um, having said that, on NPZ it does have bait potential. I think also the tall wooden poles. They also really help getting Greece. So I actually think Greece is more of a medium country. I don't really confuse Greece with other countries too often. I think it's kind of similar to France, in all, all in all. Um, and Bulgaria is probably harder. So I think I'm going to bump up Bulgaria here and leave the rest like that. Obviously, Guatemala always has the unique blur and the um, roof rack and the uh, rear view mirrors. So Guatemala is easy because of that on no moving. And MPZ, you do get some really interesting guats, but... Again, the country has limited coverage and it's stuck in Gen 3. So those two things definitely make it more so on the easy side of things. I think region guessing can still pose quite a bit of problems, but it, you can just click middle. It's one of those countries. I would say it's more so like, it's, you know what? Even Andorra compared to some of these countries, you can miss the country more. So I'm going to bump up Andorra, put Guatemala at the bottom of easy. Okay, Finland now has 2023 copyright, so it is a little bit different to if I filmed this video two weeks ago. However, Finland is a um, relatively gettable country in most circumstances. Um, the countries I most commonly confuse it for are Sweden or Estonia, which is quite obvious as they're two of its neighbors. Um, but yeah, those two countries on a dirt road can look quite similar. Um, but yeah, I mean, Finland just gives, I've always liked guessing in Finland, it gives me quite a strong vibe. Um, and it probably, it probably deserves to go on the harder end of the medium because region guessing can be a problem to people. And then also, obviously there are a few 50-50s, so I feel like putting it below Bulgaria there is quite reasonable. Hong Kong is either really difficult or really easy, which kind of makes it interesting because 50-50s do exist and if you get the right rural round, it can be difficult. However, all in all, I think it still deserves to be in the easy, maybe just on the harder end of easy because people rarely screw it up and you have plenty of metas. Surely I would never go um, Singapore on, 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 on Hong Kong and jewels, guys. I would never do that, right? Yeah, anyway, um, it is it is definitely deserving of being in the easy category. It's not a country that people mess up too often, in my opinion. Okay, Hungary. Hungary is definitely moving up towards the top here because region guessing is difficult. It's very flat. And then more importantly, getting the country with Hungary since it got generation four, or actually it's had it for a long time, but since other Eastern European countries got generation four, it's become a lot more hard. And um, there are relatively few good metas unless you have bollards or poles for guessing in Hungary uh, as opposed to other countries. So yeah, all in all, I would actually say it's on the hard end here. I would not say it's as hard as Czechia or Croatia, but I do think it is harder or I miss the country more so than fin uh, than Denmark. But really, I think it almost feels more like a Danish or Estonia or Austria to me, actually. It is hard, but like, ultimately, I, I feel like I just miss it less than Czechia or Croatia, for indeed. Um, Iceland will be much harder once they add Generation 4, but I feel like Iceland's always kind of destined to be an easy country anyway. Um, region guessing can be difficult. That... that poses some problems. I do send the wrong side of Iceland, so I have to consider that here. Uh, at the same time, everyone, I mean, when's the last time I missed an Iceland round? Uh, yesterday's video, but that was with real life. <laughs> that was with real life uh, photospheres. This one uh, doesn't quite count for that. So yeah, I would say it goes in the too easy category. It's harder than Ghana because of region guessing. 
um, and it's definitely harder than Curacao, but I would say it's easier than these other countries just because you almost never send the wrong country on Iceland. Okay, what do we have here? Is this Monaco or Indo? I'm gonna treat it as Indonesia. Uh, what do we have? Ireland, Israel, this has to be Indonesia then, great. Um, so Indo is a country that you can bait for other countries on NMPZ and even on no moving. Like people send Philippines on Indonesia still. Um, and in addition to that, it is very difficult to region guess. I think actually, if we're including region guessing, then Indo goes straight to the hard category, which is a diff bit different to the last um, tier list, I think. Uh, but all in all, uh, you can send Malaysia, you can send Philippines, you can send Sri Lanka, you can send any Southeast Asian country, even Bangladesh sometimes. And at the same time, you have these like, um, you have these very difficult to region guess islands, which look very similar to each other, despite being 3000, 2000 kilometers apart from one another. So, and we're getting more coverage constantly. This also definitely contributes to the difficulty where you could learn roads previously. Now they're updating them pretty much constantly. I think it is well deserving of a hard spot. I could even bump it up above um, Czechia here, I think so. Okay, next one here, and even Czechia, just because it is so many free points, I'm actually gonna bump it down. Indonesia's kinda changed my mind. I still think Croatia's harder, just because of how many streaks it ruins. But yeah, Indonesia actually gonna go up there with it, in my opinion. Okay, Ireland. Ireland is easy to get, because it looks like the UK, but within different number plates. However, if you whack number plates, then it can be a 50-50 for the UK. I feel like it's one I get right most times, however, we have to acknowledge this 50-50. Then region guessing is not too hard. I think Ireland is just kind of a middling country. It, it, it has some difficulties to it, but um, it's probably like the bottom of medium. It could even be an easy country in all honesty, but compared to these ones, I, I think it's not quite. It's more just medium. Okay, Israel. Israel's a, a relatively easy country. It doesn't have much Gen 4 yet. It has yellow plates. Um, yellow outer lines, like all these things make it like more so just like a middle of easy country in my opinion. And uh, I don't know, like, um, we'll zoom out here a little. Yeah, that looks better. Um, and can we get rid of this? No, it's okay. Um, and I would say it, uh, it definitely has potential to get more bait rounds once they add more gen four. But as it stands right now, um, I don't really see it being the country where I send their own country often at all. And, uh, you know, Palestine actually causes more problems. And I don't know if Palestine's included. I feel like it's not. Um, we have Jordan. We have everything twice here. Don't worry. We don't have this many to go. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, um, I feel like that's a reasonable thing to say. Uh, okay. We also have Swaziland instead of Eswatini, kind of interesting. Okay, um, so next round here, we've got Italy. Italy is a country where you can certainly confuse things, that's for sure. Italy, you can send France on, you can send it, uh, you can spend Spain on. There are definitely a lot of 50-50s involved with Italy. Um, having said that, the architecture is relatively distinct and the number plates also help out a lot, so... As we've said a lot, NMPZ is where you're going to be missing the country the most. However, it has to go somewhat difficult because there are just so many 50-50s and a lot of times you're on a road with no markings, no bollards, and, and uh, that's what makes it more difficult. As well as region guessing being somewhat difficult, it's not the worst, but the, the boot causes problems and then you have Sardinia as well, which I sometimes miss. So I think it's definitely in the somewhat difficult category. With my rating of Indonesia, I'm actually going to bump up Brazil a bit here, and I'm going to say Italy yeah, is probably around that kind of region where you're missing the country quite a lot, but the points are more or less guaranteed. Okay, Japan became a lot easier since the last time we filmed this, I think. However, I would have put Japan in probably the too easy category because I was only talking about um, the difficulty of getting the country rather than the region guess. If you have no clues, Japan's difficult to region guess. Not impossible, but difficult. If you have clues, it can be very easy. Uh, but there's a lot of memory work involved. It's a very technical country uh, compared to Vibes, which I normally prefer. Never mind that, though. It's still not in the difficult categories. I think it has to just be somewhat easy because you're never going to miss the country because of the low cam. And then region guessing has been made quite a bit easier. So I'm actually going to put it in the like lower end of medium here. In fact, all in all, it may actually be on the high end of easy because region guessing, you can lose a lot of points, but... I think, actually, these days, that's where it belongs. Okay. Jordan, limited coverage. 
um, only two really main roads going through the south of the country, and then stuck in Gen 3 with a black car. But yeah, this is definitely in the kind of too easy to easy category. You can go Palestine and UAE on if you are having a bad day, but that's going to be pretty rare. Yeah, this is like the top of too easy. It's, it's not too hard. It really isn't. Uh, Kenya, another kind of easy country here, I would say. Um, always got the car meta. Normally got road lines and everything. Rwanda, if Rwanda gets more coverage, I could see that making it more difficult. But you have to remember, Rwanda drives right, Kenya drives left. So, yeah, all in all, I, I don't really see Kenya getting any more than easy here. And region guessing is also not too difficult. So, I think, like, the lower end of easy is actually quite reasonable. It's not a difficult country. Guessing the wrong country, I wouldn't say, is uh, is particularly common at all. Okay, Kyrgyzstan's going in too easy. Like, everyone knows what it looks like. Everyone knows how to region guess it, basically. And if it's no move, you're gonna 5k a good proportion of the time. I'd say it's actually just above Curacao, yeah. Laos, another too easy country. Laos also goes right next to Kyrgyzstan here, so we've just filled up too easy to a good extent here. Um, yeah, what can I say? Like Laos, Laos just only has five cities covered. Um, occasionally you'd go Thailand if you're unlucky, and even still if you go to Thailand you're gonna guess very close because the part of Thailand that looks like Laos is near Laos. So yeah, I don't really see this being anything apart from a too easy. Don't really see how you could argue otherwise either. That's just an easy country. Latvia, on the other hand, is kind of suffering from a similar fate to Estonia being one of those harder countries, except I would say it is harder. Because it's a bit further south, it can look like Southern Europe a bit more. And then it also just looks more like Estonia, I mean, more like um, Lithuania, which makes the 50-50s harder. You can even go Poland, you can even go Germany. So I, I think actually just deserving of the hard category here. Um, and I would say it's not, obviously, it's free points if you know it's there, and it's normally pretty good points if you know you're in the region, but it's kind of a Croatia circumstance where it's kind of a, it's kind of the type of country where you can send numerous different wrong countries on it, and I feel like it deserves to be quite high. Um, Lesotho, look, here's the thing about Lesotho. I used to send the wrong country on it fairly regularly, however, I tried to make my hardest to make a Lesotho bait round to like fool my friends. And even if I got a really good one, they made it the first guess. So it goes in the too easy category. Region guessing is kind of a problem. So I feel like it is kind of harder than Kyrgyzstan, Laos and Curacao, but it's just yeah, somewhere around, somewhere around a Ghana level country in my opinion. It's smaller too, so we'll make it easier. Okay, back to back Baltics here. We have now Lithuania. Lithuania, I think is in a very similar boat to Latvia, but for some reason, and I think it might be because of the seasonal coverage that you get, it's somewhat more recognizable because it has a bit more of that wintry stuff. I would say it's definitely in the somewhat difficult category higher up. Obviously, the fact that this is like next to Estonia is no accident because Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania all kind of share that high probability that you guess the wrong one, therefore ruining the percentage chance that you get it right, in my opinion. It just makes it much harder. Then again, again, it's another one of these countries where if you get it right, you're going to get a nice, hefty score by clicking in the middle. So, yeah, I mean, same advice applies to Latvia. I just kind of find Latvia more difficult for some reason. But yeah, leaving it like that. Um, Luxembourg, since Germany came out, is low-key kind of difficult. It's, uh, it's still, with the yellow plates, probably not going to be more than easy. But um, the 50-50s do exist now in, in, in even no moving. Uh, now, the bollards are slightly different. I'm trying to remember what the difference is. I think Luxembourgish bollards on the white reflector have three, um, have three like, nails in them, whereas the German ones have two. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think, um, all in all, that uh, the small amount of Germany and France baits that exist don't really outweigh the fact that normally this is three points. So I think I'm going to put it in easy, and I think I'm going to put it, yeah, it, it's it's on, uh, on the harder end of easy because it's a European country. Um, you know what? It does actually go medium these days. Crazily enough, it does go medium because, yeah, if we're going to put Germany and like Lat Latvia and stuff so high, then obviously the small amount of baits do count for something here quite significant in my opinion. Okay, uh, Macau is super easy. Um, I don't think, I can't remember the last time I missed that, that it actually probably is easier than Curacao, a new bottom player here. North Macedonia is easy, it never has an antenna. The coverage is all done in the summer, apart from in the cities occasionally. Um, and you're normally on a highway and everyone just knows what it looks like these days. 
Um, I would say it's not too easy because you can send um, Serbia, so that 50-50 does like, save it from being in the too easy category, however, I think it's uh, definitely on the easiest end of easy here, maybe something around similar to uh, Andorra or something like that. Uh, Malaysia. Hmm. Malaysia's interesting. It's kind of a divided country. The the mainland is full of metas, like the black sticker on the pole, and then the Borneo part only has Generation 3. So that duality kind of means that it is easier than it otherwise could have been. But um, I definitely think it does have bait potential, and region guessing can be a bit of an issue. I have to say it's like on the lower end of medium. It's not particularly difficult. We can actually put it next to Luxembourg. It's kind of a slightly easier, I think, because the 50-50s are kind of somewhat rarer. On tournaments, I don't see people going the wrong country on Malaysia too often. Okay, next country here is Malta. Malta is definitely too easy, but it's not as too easy as some of the other ones here. I think it's more so like around like a Ghana or Sutu level, where people always recognize it, but if they don't, then they would get quite wrong. Um, but yeah, it's it's it really is like, it really is, I think, actually maybe a bit easier because I feel like people fail it even less, you know? It's just, it's just got such a recognizable landscape. Um, but it is harder. I would say it's harder than Kyrgyzstan or Laos, maybe. Um, next one here is Mexico. Um, recently, since Adlama and Angelo and stuff, have been uh, researching Mexico and uh, coming up with a bunch of metas. It has definitely become an easier country to region guess. Um, and 50-50s with other countries are somewhat rare, except if you're up in the mountains or up inside a forest. Um, but those 50-50s are real when they come about. So I feel like this is definitely in the somewhat difficult category. It kind of falls into a similar boat as Canada, where most rounds are gonna be uniquely Mexican looking. And then you get those ones where, which are real, like Dark Horse, kind of look like other country rounds. So yeah, I feel like that's actually a fairly reasonable place to put it, as well as the fact that, you know, region guessing does cause a lot of really good players problems. Okay, we're coming towards the pointy end here. We only have three more rows to go. Four more, rather. Oh, well, they have, they have some silly ones in here. They have uh, uh, Venezuela, it's kind of funny. Uh, but okay, Monaco is next country. Monaco is uh, too easy. It's maybe the easiest country. Now that has generation four, I think I could upgrade it, because you could go France. So I'm gonna upgrade it to, you know, the higher end of too easy here. It's it's definitely possible to screw it up, but really, man, if you screw it up, have you been playing GeoGuessr for two years, three years? Probably not. Um, Mongolia, super easy to get the country, while well, they haven't drop, dropped to generation four yet, but um, hard to region guess if you don't know your meta stuff. So I could definitely just put it in the medium category or the low medium, because yes, it's easy to get the country. No, it's not easy to region guess. So it kind of puts it there, in my opinion. Like, I don't really remember the last time on a on a, on an NAPZ I even went the wrong country for Mongolia. You do know what it looks like after you played for a while. Netherlands, flat Netherlands. Um, since Germany released, it has become harder, but I rarely, rarely miss the Netherlands because of the architecture and the landscape and the plates. Those three things, gonna cover like 95 to 98 percent of rounds in my opinion so in terms of a european country it's quite easy i would even maybe put it just in the easy category but the european bait rounds do exist so let's put it in the lower end of medium uh new zealand new zealand region guessing can be difficult um but new zealand getting the country is normally not i say that as i lost one of my best world records to a new zealand ireland 50 50 but all in all, I would say that, yeah, New Zealand, normally normally you're always going to get the country. It's kind of a similar deal to Australia, honestly. Um, but I would say maybe slightly easier. I don't know. Because the country, I feel like it's just as easy as Australia. And region guessing is probably a similar difficulty, but it is smaller, so you lose less points. So I feel like that kind of puts it a similar, similar region, in my opinion, like this kind of difficulty um, up here. And, you know, occasionally you would go the wrong continent. But, yeah, I'm actually going to bump it down a little bit like that just because it is smaller. Okay, Nigeria. Nigeria is definitely in the easy category because you can send the wrong country, possibly, especially with the crap cam. And at the same time, region guessing, the south part of the country seems to give people a lot of problems. So I feel like easy is actually quite a fair place to put it. Um, and actually, because of the region guessing stuff, I'm going to put it in the kind of higher end of easy. I think it's actually kind of, can be difficult. 
Norway is a country that most people normally get. Again, region guessing is a bit of a problem here, but it's not the biggest country. Um, but it is pretty long, so you have to consider that. Um, what else can we say? I mean, sometimes I do send the wrong side of Norway, and sometimes I do go Sweden on it. And sometimes I do go, you know, other countries as well. It is well possible. I feel like it's it's belonging solidly in the middle of, or in the lower end of medium. Uh, kind of similar to Netherlands, I think, but maybe a tiny bit harder. Uh, Peru. Peru is... I would say, uh, not a particularly difficult country to get the country, but bait rounds do exist more so, for example, than Ecuador or something like that. Region guessing can be very brutal as well. There are certain regions where you normally get it and others where it's a bit of crapshoot. Um, I would actually put it in the somewhat difficult category here, but maybe right down the bottom because getting the country is normally not too much of a hassle. Philippines region guessing is hell. Um, Philippines re uh, country guessing is not too bad. Um, and I feel like this probably puts it at like a high medium because normally you get the country and normally you kind of accept that you might miss the region. And I feel like that's kind of similar to a lot of the high medium countries here. Um, but yeah, Indonesia, as we've said, we've, we've mentioned the other Southeast Asian agents who do screw it up sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's fair enough, I think. Poland's region guessing is tough and the country guessing is also tough. However, the region guessing is definitely harder out of the two. Um, I think it's just fitting quite solidly into a somewhat difficult country where, actually, you know what? I, I feel like Poles and everything, I, I don't actually miss uh, Poland that often. I think I'll put it next to Bulgaria here. I think it actually is one of those countries where I, for whatever reason, have a knack of not missing it. On NPZ, of course, it happens quite regularly but I don't feel like it's as often as the ones in somewhat difficult, so I think medium is fair. Portugal, uh, actually kind of a similar deal to the last round, uh, to, the, to, to Poland, I think. Um, much more region guessable, and probably more often where I'd go Spain <coughs> than Poland. Like, um, you know, well, obviously, but you know what I mean. Um, Poland is, uh, you're more likely to send a different country, um, but you are less having less of a 50-50, whereas Portugal, Spain, can be a true 50-50, especially in the south parts. Um, Portugal, it's a medium country, I think. I think it's a you know, similar area to uh, Poland. I actually do think it's maybe a little lower. Not too bad. Uh, Romania. Romania is definitely somewhat difficult or medium. Um, getting the country is somewhat difficult on NMPZ, can be very difficult. Um, and then on top of that, region guessing is tough as well. Not super tough, but tough. Um, you know, you know, you're in the mountains, but Carpathians are notoriously hard to region guess. So, uh, yeah, I would say it's actually just like a, also thick road lines, again, helps it to be similar to Bulgaria, where they used to be more difficult, but now they're kind of not. Um, Russia. Russia, I think, actually, get in the country, very easy. Region guessing, easier than people think, but if you're wrong, you're wrong. And it often ends up being a ton of points. So, um... I would say that uh, all in all, medium is probably actually a good chat here again. It's kind of Australia level where the country is just so easy to get, but it can be difficult to get the right region if you don't get a vibe on it. I think the reason I put Australia actually is harder. I'm, I'm going to put it here, but the reason I put Australia is harder is because of the constantly updating coverage, whereas Russia is stuck. So if you learn it, you learn it, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, next one, San Marino. Too easy, but you can go the, you can go Italy. Um, so until it gets Gen 4, it's kind of relegated to too easy, but I can actually see, um, you know, something something definitely screwing me up in a video very soon, and then I look silly for putting it all the way at the bottom of too easy. So I would actually say it's kind of similar to Monaco. I would, I would say it's a little easier, but you know, this kind of level. Uh, Senegal. Um, <clears throat> on NMPZ, it is possible to send the wrong country. Uh, however, most times not. I think most pros will get it basically 99% of the time. Region guessing is possible, though not easy. Um, so I think it's kind of like a top level of easy country where it, it definitely, it definitely is probably easier than it's easier than Nigeria, but it's not, it's not, it's not. Um, you know, the the region guessing does leave a bit of room for error, and you can send the wrong country or wrong side of the country relatively easily if you're not paying proper attention. Um, Serbia is no antenna country, similar to North Macedonia. The landscape is more varied in Serbia. North Serbia is super easy, but South Serbia 
does cause problems for other countries that neighbor it um, in terms of region guessing. I think Serbia is an easy country, but it is harder than North Macedonia. Um, I think this is a reasonable spot. Uh, Singapore, basically I never miss, uh, but you can get crazy baits occasionally. So I think it's kind of like a high too easy. Um, Slovakia. Obviously if we put Slova if we put Czechia so high, Slovakia obviously deserves to be in this kind of region. I think Slovakia uh, isn't harder than Czechia. We have red car, which makes it somewhat easier. We have winter coverage, which also somewhat makes it easier in generation four. Um, but then again, you have mountain rounds, which make it a bit harder. I think it deserves to be next to Czechia. I think it's slightly harder um, because you can confuse it with the other mountainous countries, but I would say it's very similar. Okay. We're coming to the end here. We only have a little bit more to go. And the next one is Slovenia, which I think is actually, since getting Generation 4 and becoming an Austria 5050 and sometimes having very Eastern European looking rounds, actually is a chart topper here. Um, I think it's uh, maybe fourth position, actually. Uh, but then again, the region guesses, I mean, the um, points are so easy. So I think I actually have to put it top of somewhat difficult. Uh, but another one of these Eastern European countries, which is a streak ender, but where the points are normally somewhat forgiving. But think about this tournament that we won the other day with Sergot Sand. I was the only one to call uh, Croatia out of the, I mean, uh, Slovenia out of the whole lobby, out of really good players. And I'm not just tooting my own horn, it's because it's difficult. So, you know, definitely worth paying attention to there. South Africa is easy to get the country and easy to get the region, in my opinion. Both of those are true. However, because it's so big, I think you couldn't really put it too much. I, I, I'm not really comfortable putting it in easy. I feel like it's too big to be the kind of country where I'd want to call it easy, but I'm going to anyway, like screw it. If people get offended, well, so be it. This is, I think, an easy country, um, both in terms of recognizing and in terms of region guessing. Watch me send the wrong side of it next sometime soon, but yeah. Korea's super easy to get, um, but region guessing is a real problem. I think it's uh, teetering on the, it's on the verge of too easy because of the generation three only. Hopefully they drop generation four South Korea. That would be great. Imagine if they drop the whole country in gen four, that would actually renew my interest in learning it. But for now, yeah, not, not my favorite country, nor the easiest, but definitely easy. Uh, Spain is uh, harder than Portugal because the landscape is more diverse. So we're definitely putting it on that harder side. Uh, and Portugal's there. So we're going to put it actually in the somewhat difficult category, I think. Um, also Canaries factor into that as well, I would say. Canaries, if you don't recognize it, can be so punishing in terms of score. And even if you do recognize it, you can lose a thousand points just by sending the wrong side. Um, and then Spain has plenty of baits for Southern Italy, even for Greece. Generation two Spain is really difficult. Um, and, uh, it doesn't have that kind of factor where you just immediately see it and know it's Spain, a lot of the time at least. I think it deserves bottom of somewhat difficult here. Um, putting it higher than Australia, I think it's only because of that European country streak difficulty about it, which Australia just doesn't have. Okay, um, Sri Lanka. With the low cam, it actually got easier as a country. Um, and for that reason, I, it almost could be a too easy country here. Although 50-50s do exist, so I think it has to just go at the bottom of it easy. It's an easy country, um, but it probably deserve to go here. Yeah. Uh, Eswatini, probably in the too easy category, although 50-50s do exist actually. So, um, probably just the top of too easy here. I think that's actually fair. Let's go like that. Sweden. Uh, now Sweden actually is somewhat difficult, I think. Um, region guessing can be difficult. And then getting the country can also be quite difficult. The dashes help, the red roads help, um, but there are just plenty of rounds where you are liable to just send the wrong country and it feels bad. Um, uh, especially if it's no like lines on the road. That's really the, the number one circumstance. But I actually think it's kind of rare. So I'm gonna bump it down a little here. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Yeah, it's kind of similar to Finland, slightly harder. Um, Switzerland, obviously going in the too easy category, I think. It does have Gen 4, but I think I'm never missing it, and it's a small country, and region getting is not too bad, so I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it next to Jordan. I feel like that's fair. Taiwan, easy to get it, 
but 50-50s can be crazy. Like, Taiwan's either easy or hard, that's for sure. And normally it's very easy, but it can be very hard. If we're putting Japan in easy, I feel like Taiwan also has to go there. It's definitely easier than Japan as well, so I feel like this kind of region here fits quite nicely. Thailand, region guessing difficult. Rarely missing the country, although Philippines, Thailand has actually been coming up more recently since they have similar Google cars and um, also similar landscapes in the south of Thailand. So yeah, I feel like Thai actually has like earned itself as like a proper medium country. It's, it's easy to get it in most times. A few 50-50s exist, a few region guessing absolute fails happen. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Maybe like here would be good. Tunisia, definitely on the easy side of things. Very easy, almost honestly. Like I can't remember the last time I just straight up missed Tunisia. I feel like I feel like that makes it too easy because I kind of remember the last time I got it wrong. Um, and then region guessing is relatively straightforward. It's not the easiest, but you can learn it super quickly if you want to. I just never really have. Um, Tunisia is going here, or even. Yeah, I think it's there. Now I have Turkey. Turkey is a, a difficult country to region guess, but has relatively few 50-50s. Most times you're going to get Turkey correct, I think. They're, they exist, the 50-50s, but I would actually say it's like kind of like... it's it, Because of region guessing, it is kind of up here, but yeah, I think all in all. With the Generation 4 that's come out, that's a bit more rural. It can be difficult, but I think, yeah, just something like this is probably good okay uh uae definitely on the verge of too easy yeah it is too easy honestly uh, when, when am i missing uae maybe qatar poses some problems if you forget the car honestly that does make it a 50 50 i'm gonna I'm bump it to the bottom of easy it, it makes it a 50 50 where you can actually lose the country uh but region guessing i mean is easy you're always gonna get like within 100k so that's not a problem uganda super easy uh you have the national parks, which actually bump it up a little, but yeah, let's just put Uganda here. You can potentially go Kenya if you're not concentrating. Apart from that, you're fine. UK, um, couldn't put it much more than medium, to be honest. You almost always get the country. In fact, I'm, I'm leaning towards easy here. You almost always get the country. Ireland is the 50-50. I think we can actually put them next to each other, because really, Ireland, like, UK is bigger, but Ireland is kind of harder to region guess within. Um, and then UK, you know, do you have more architecture? So I feel like UK is actually a little easier than Ireland, maybe. Similar kind of vibe, but 50-50s do exist with France, though, which is somewhat significant. Uh, more so than Ireland, but yeah, I feel like it really deserves to be around here. Okay, we're almost at the end now. Ukraine, uh, definitely on the easy side of things because the red car helps for no moving, and then it's also almost always like a reddish road. It's flat, it's agricultural. Um, region guessing can be difficult. I think it's kind of a similar deal to like South Africa or something. I'm gonna put it there. Uh, Uruguay, I've learned it a lot recently. The coverage definitely makes it easy. Like you, you relative, relatively rarely go the wrong country even if you don't know it too well. Uh, region guessing, I definitely think it is difficult. Like I've practiced quite a lot and still I'm going the wrong side of the country fairly often, but I think easy is you know fairly reasonable i think i'll just go for that united states of america here obviously usa has similar issues to canada region guessing is actually quite a problem sometimes especially in the interior states and there's also just those circumstances where even the best players in the world nmpz will go the wrong side so i feel like it is actually harder than canada um and i feel like putting it you know, these days when everyone's so good at the meta, so good at recognizing this and that about rounds, USA still provides the 50-50 with Canada, as well as very diverse region guessing. Um, I think I think actually next to Brazil is very reasonable because they, they share that very similar air about them where, yes, like USA has more of the 50-50 value, but also probably more of a difficult region guessing value than Brazil, especially when you include Alaska, Hawaii. Sure, people don't miss them much, but even with the uh, overseas territories as well, you get like a fairly solid repertoire of bait locations which send people all the wrong spots. Um, that being said, I think people are really improving quickly at the US as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, well, this could change quite a bit next, in next year, but ultimately there is so much coverage there that it's hard to say it will change too much. And then I'm skipping Venezuela. So that is it. Now let's place the three new countries, which we have uh, Rwanda, Panama, and Qatar. So 
Uh, Rwanda, I think they're publishing more right now. As it stands, it has to go in easy, but I think Rwanda could legitimately jump into a medium because of NMPZ bait locations, which kind of look like Brazil or Kenya or something. Nah, I think it actually has to stay easy, um, even with those, but at the moment, it's like a low easy. It could move to a high easy, in my opinion. Um, Qatar. Similar deal with UAE, but more limited coverage, so I'd have to put it in like too easy, but maybe higher too easy just because of the Qatar, uh, the UAE 50-50. And then Panama, the newest edition of them all, is definitely interesting. I would say that Panama um, has extreme bait location potential where you just have zero clue and you're like, what is this location? Is it like Mexico? Is it like Nigeria? Uh, where am I looking at? Um, and for that reason, I could say it can definitely go up into the medium. The problem is the car meta, and as soon as you're next to any infrastructure, it shouldn't be too difficult. The problem is rural rounds, which really bump it up, and it can look like a bunch of other countries, so I have to pay it on that. I think it would be like the bottom of medium, or maybe the top of easy. Probably the top of easy, realistically. I think that would be where I'd put it. So that is the final tier list. I, I really didn't fill up hard very much. But uh, I guess this video had a slight identity crisis all in all, where the countries where it's hard to get the country and the countries where it's hard to get the region are somewhat difficult. Um, but I feel like this is actually relatively accurate if you want to balance those two things out. And uh, I definitely think the bottom half of the tier list is very accurate, whereas the top half is much more subjective and much more player dependent, I think. Uh, but yeah, guys, you have to tell me what you think of this whole list. I'm, I'm actually looking at this. I'm going to bump Denmark down because Denmark, most rounds are just going to get that kind of typical Danish landscape. But it does provide those baits. I think I think this is a better spot for it. Okay, I've got Trevor on the line. What's up, Rainbow? How's it going? Oh, did you really test in my flag knowledge here? Oh my. <laughs> Initial reactions. Here we have it. So that's the top half. Here's the bottom half. Too easy. Esotini. You think Kirk's too easy? I think, I, guess, I think yeah. one, you never miss the country, even on NMPZ because yeah. of the coverage. Yeah. Two, most people can 5K. This is from a pro perspective. Cal too easy. Yeah, one of you just Yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm agreeing with that. I'm agreeing with that. Well, I mean, Japan, easy. I would almost put that like a medium. That's a skill issue. Yeah, I I consider that for medium. It is top of easy. These are ordered roughly. This is interesting. This is interesting. So why is Guatemala easy and not too easy? I think Guatemala you can make an NPZ bay for for max. Mm and for other countries. And I've just, I just see people go on wrong country on Guat, whereas I barely yeah, ever see people go wrong yeah. country on Tunisia, even if they get less school. That's true. Mm. Yeah. It's just a skill issue. Same thing with like UAE. You can go wrong country. Like, it's interesting that you put Thailand in a medium. Like, I feel like Thailand has a ton of bait, bait locks. Like I would put it up there with like, it's hard to region get. Is it not one of the more difficult region guessable countries? Like. That's true. I guess I guess like, also because it's like a bit smaller than like an Arge or a Brazil, that's why I put it kind of lower. And also I feel like people rarely miss Thai unless they go in Philly. Most times it's yeah. people just like reach. I mean there's some forward. Southeast Asia where like I guess I guess like if they didn't have concrete roads it would be a little bit <laughs> Yeah. No. No no no, I, 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 I could definitely see moving Thai higher for sure. But like Germany harder than Thailand's kinda crazy. Maybe. Especially actually. when there's twenty. No, but like you gotta think you gotta think about Europe Europe bait though. Like people send yeah the country on yeah Germany Europe is just probably yeah. more often. That's true. That's why we need Gen Four Cambo and Miles, bro. We do. We really do. Imagine full coverage Gen Four Laos on a normal car, dude. It would be over. Bro. Yeah, the fifty fifty yeah. would be insane. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're, it's basically just it's basically just Europe. <laughs> like, yeah, the top. Yeah. It's just Europe. Like, oh, we have. Wait, it's not only in the hard category. Not only Europe, though. Look, Poland. <laughs> <Pretty strong one. laughs> what do you what do you think about the indo take there i mean like i agree with it but like i feel like it's learnable like mm. i by the way i called crow like yeah but did. like also like, like i don't know like you have resources like lemon you know you know so it's like <laughs> shout out is lemon. it not like uh shout out to lemon i know his name yeah like you remember him I mean, am I? I mean, like, I don't think Indo is the one that like we should be talking about here, bro. Okay, what do you think it is? I mean, like the one to the right of that. What is this? Latvia, bit of Latvia action. But don't you know Latvia cam, bro? Come on. 
This guy's bringing out all the memes against me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I think I think Latvia just has the, the potential to Latvia look like. Than, like okay. I think it has because it because like Lith has the winter coverage, which helps. Estonia in Gen mm -hmm. three is much easier, whereas Latvia dirt road can look like basically any country in northern but the thing is you know it's one of the baltic so you automatically get like 4 8 you know uh i feel like with 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 uh with gen 4 poland and germany widespread i feel like it's possible to mm. send i don't know i don't know yeah also i feel like for someone i, I i'm playing devil's advocate here a lot just because yeah. you know i think it's a healthy conversation you know Good. came on and said oh wow oscar and start glazing your tier list not as fun something critical on purpose sure but Having, I'm only saying this because I feel like you're really good at Mexico. Yeah. And I, I'm assuming this is mainly because Mexico Colo 50-50 is like very hard sometimes. Or, Can be for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, so I, the, 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 the reason I put Mexico high, high it's, it's, it, it's more of a region guessing school than a bait round school. Mm -hmm. Because, but at the same time, like if you're in like the mountains, you sometimes get weird rounds. It's definitely more of a region guessing problem because I think people struggle so much with North Mexico. But yeah. Yeah. Whereas Spain, like Belgium's purely there for the Wait, for the country. Where'd you put where'd you put where'd you put Turkey? Uh, Turkey's medium. Yeah. Because I feel like people yeah. never miss Turkey. Well, the Albania's region. up here in medium? That's kind of crazy. Uh, I put that there because it has a 50-50 with Monty. Which actually Monty okay. is missing from the flags, but Monty would be around the same. Maybe a bit, a bit easier. Also, because like Albania, you have to actually learn north versus south, because it's kind of big. Yeah. Reef the capital. True. Um, like where's Norway? Norway, I also put medium, but kind of on the easier side yeah. of medium. Yeah. I guess uh, one controversial one I think maybe is putting South Africa in easy, even despite how big it is. Um, I think it's quite region guessable. Especially if you click Pretoria, so. I would agree that, like, it's easy. But, like, not that I'm, like, getting 4,500 consistently. If I was to play, like, a map, like, three years ago, and the map is South Africa or Australia, I would <laughs> say that it's the most difficult country on Earth, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. But, like, now, I, I don't think you ever, I don't think anyone ever misses cut to the cut to me going uh, canaries on south africa but cut to me going mexico uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um no i feel like that's that's valid especially mm. the new gen 4 i feel like it's easier like gen 2 also made it kind of easy but like i don't know especially with the hills you, i feel like south africa has a lot of like lining up and like mm. distinct yeah. hills and like greenness and like yeah flat areas i don't know I think the biggest I mean, factor in me bots? putting it in easy, uh, in actual medium, oh, the, medium. the re biggest factor yeah. I've made in South Africa easy is the fact that all its neighbors don't have gen two or four, you know? Yeah. So like it, it just ruins a lot of 50, 50 potential. Like country streak wise, it's easy. Yeah, for sure. It's like Actually putting, putting, most, putting bots medium speed. when ZA is easy is kind of wild, but I feel like pros actually have ZA down better than bots. Loki. Also, like, I feel like you're way over, like, there's no way you claim the Netherlands is, e is medium. Like, you think it's bro. easy? Bro, come on. That's too, that's almost too easy. But, but because most, 90%, 90%, I know what you're, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Because, but 95% of locks are urban. Yeah. And even like the 10% are, that aren't, it's like a flat field with like a fucking bicycle, like, route right next <laughs> to you, you know? That's kind of true. Like sometimes, like I can see you, like maybe if it's like Belgium or something, but like the roads are so distinct and like I don't know. I know what you're saying because you because we've all been got yeah. by a rural Netherlands that we've yeah. done like fucking France. Or they something. are quite. I right. get it. That's fair. Um, but like the chances of that happening here. Yeah, they're literally like it's like like less than three percent probably, perhaps even less yeah. than two or one. So actually, that's kind of fair. I could look. Uh, I, I'm gonna leave mine as final, but uh, I would be no, happy yeah, to no, I, shuffle yes, that easy. Stay, stay on business. Stay on business. Mm, mm. Malaysia, you know, I think Malaysia would be a different story if Borneo had Gen Four. Facts. I mentioned that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if if they got black car, same as Kalimantan, gosh, that would be a pain. Yeah. I mean, especially yeah. on dirt roads, like uh, on 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 paved roads, you got the kind of roadland meta, but yeah. 
Dude, that would be insane. You would have people going by the end for sure. I feel like even like yeah, on some true. like new Gen Four drop to like attorneys would be crazy. True. That would actually be pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, okay. I, I think I think this is like overall like I, I'm gonna give it like an eight point one. Eight point ones. I'll take that. Eighty one percent. You know. And obviously, my opinion here means everything, and it's. <laughs> The only thing that ever matters. So. Mr. Gio gets a spark, guys. I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, another really thing I forgot to do. We have to react to my previous year's one. Okay, so here we're going to react quickly to last year's one as well. Oh, and yeah, this, this was published September last year. So, and a year, oh. a year and three months old now, almost. And so much has changed. So much has changed. A lot of these countries did not have Gen 4. A lot of them. That I've now got it, so... Dude, it's, like, so important to, like, when people look at records on GeoGuessr, if you were playing on, like, like, Europe two years ago, it was nine times easier than Europe now. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe facts. 20, like, so, like... That's why if you look at most world record country streaks, they're unbeatable. Like, it's just, they're forever going to be, like, the highest, because it's too hard to get country streaks now up to Europe. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. People also know a lot that they didn't, so I think that kind of bounces it out, but, like, Europe is legitimately just so much harder, as you said. Okay, let's yeah. see the final <clears throat> list here, then. Okay, so Estonia, I put as top. I think that's... Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Also, I actually made this video. I'm rea We're reacting to me, my previous one from a year ago before that, I think. Okay, so, but here we go. So this is the final list, I think. So we had Very Estonia. Very hard Estonia. That's kind of interesting. So basically, you, you set your guns in the Baltics, I guess. Yeah. Like, you had Baltic, you had a lot of the Lithuania and Estonia right there. You, so you, this you this one was the, done the, purely the... on country streaking, actually. Okay. Mm. Croatia, but this was a Croatia with Gen three, which is interesting. That even yeah. with Gen four, it's still difficult. Yeah. I get the Czech Slovakia fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. It's honestly pretty similar, but Bolivia put somewhat difficult. It's crazy, bro. I think people complained about that at the time, but I literally put it in easy this time. You know, like, yeah, you still do. I mean, this is honestly pretty close to what, like, you still have Albania Monty is somewhat difficult. Mm, mm. Because uh, of the 50 50. That's the thing. It does exist, yeah. and people do get it wrong. But that's actually kind of crazy, though. It should probably be a bit lower. Like, people know the coverage. Somewhat easy Thailand, like, I, I guess. For us <laughs> <Bro's> not having it. <laughs> It's just Allows not easy. somewhat easy. That's kind of interesting. Wow. Well, whereas Australia, very easy. Whereas obviously we're going for country Bruce, streaks. Bro is confident. Yeah. I mean. I mean, yeah. Laos is. I guess if there's no like you're in Luang Prabang or something, you could get. Or not Luang Prabang, sorry. Vientiane. Vientiane, yeah, yeah. San Marino, right? And then the... we have me reacting to the original original list. I forgot this even existed, bro. <laughs> so here you're we gonna, go. You're gonna have Swaziland on this list, bro. Yeah, facts, bro. Okay, <laughs> let's see. We have, we. Have, I think we should have it. Oh, so I was comparing. So this is the top of the list. I mean, completely different. What's what's kind of? I mean, this is country streaking again. Germany. I, think. I mean, Germany being Just super Germany. easy. Yeah, uh, the classic. I don't think this list has changed at all, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You're putting Japan as easy enough. Like, oh, okay, this is country. Okay, yeah. Yeah, country streaks. Yeah, yeah. Um. Is there anything like in the A tier that actually causes problems for people though? See, Netherlands, I was actually kind of thinking more so on your uh, like, wavelength at this like, stage. I feel like Colo is not an easy country streak, bro. Like, really, yeah. there's so much that could be like Brazil yeah. or Mex that, like, factual. And then, same really thing for with. Italy. Italy actually has hell of yeah. it. So, those two are bad takes. I mean, so this, I, apart I from that, really everything is agree. pretty fine. Okay, middle. I mean, this is—it's crazy. Why, why did why did Laos get harder over time? Easy enough, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> a year later, I forgot Laos. <laughs> I mean, I think I think I think the, I think the the logic was that like Vientiane, uh, Thailand is still like a legitimate fifty fifty, and it does show up every now and yeah. again. But that's actually kind of funny though. I guess because I never took the time to learn. I think that's actually just it. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. And then yeah. down, okay, down the list here. I mean, fail often up, bro. You get chat that nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's actually. You know, I'll take the hybrid on this one. I, yeah. I, 
Oh, right, no, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, more difficult this, section having San Marino. This goes crazy, bro. bro. <laughs> San Marino. This was literally very easy Dude, now. Wow. We need to send you to, like, counseling about the Baltics. They've been rent free in your head for, like, three years. <laughs> True. Like, Psychologists, <laughs> like, what causes you the most mental anguish? Uh, wow. Just, just Wait, where's Latvia, though? Did, where did I put Latvia? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Is that's that's Austria, dude. I think it just must be missing, actually. Huh? Very interesting. Maybe, you're, maybe. You're, yeah. Too scared. Too intimidated. Oh yeah. Mm, interesting. More difficult. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's. I mean, like North Macedonia. Once you know the nine ten, or it's always on a highway. Like. Yeah. yeah. Interesting takes, Oscar. From back in when did I ever make even make this very early on? I, you know, I, I agree with the, the Canada. The Canada has been consistent too. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a so country. There we go. I think I think that's uh, that's uh, pretty much all we have. Um, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this and uh, Rainbow some cameo at the end. And uh, any last words for the viewers at home, Trevor? Uh, yeah, hopefully a year from now, uh, Oscar decides to grind uh, Bal the Baltics besides Uruguay for 20 hours a day. Man, that's uh, that's that's uh, that could happen. That could happen. That would be quite <laughs> inspirational, wouldn't it? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye. See you guys.